right, we are recording. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, obviously, you know who I am, Anna Rova. Uh, if you're listening to this on the podcast or watching this, welcome, everyone. Today, I have actually the first time interview, I guess, discussion interview. I don't even know how to call <laughs> it. Um, with Stephanie, who is a coach on our team, our claim team. So, Stephanie, welcome. Oh, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Yeah, thanks so much for coming. As I've been telling you before, this is something completely new um, that, that I'm doing on the podcast and we're doing in our kind of, you know, content, I guess. Um, and this is really, Steph, behind the scenes of uh, mm. what happens um, in the claim coaching program. So currently, um, well, for everybody, obviously, you know that I am, you know, the founder of Claimed and I've put this all together and was coaching women, blah, blah, blah. But as we grew, I needed more help. And uh, currently, obviously, I'm pregnant, getting ready in a few months to go on maternity leave. And so the, our team has expanded. And so um, Steph has joined our team as a coach. We're missing one part of our coaching team, Steph, which is mm. Camilla. Um, but... Um, Camilla is not as heavily involved as I guess the, the both of us. So you are, um, you know, you're really the person who is holding the ship together in a way. <laughs> so, you know, our amazing Facebook group and um, client success and really helping clients together with me. But as I move on to maternity leave, you're really going to be stepping into this role of essentially, I guess, client success director. Mm. I don't even know what's the role yeah. there. Yeah, um, sounds great. <laughs> sounds yeah, good. <laughs> and Steph, you have been a client. Um, and I think that that's the most exciting part about this because, you know, um, when you're doing coaching in general, you know, you tend to, and as you grow, you tend to hire a lot of the coaches. Actually, Camilla, who is the second coach in our team, uh, her trajectory was that. Her trajectory was I have actually finished my feminine embodiment coaching certification together with her and one cohort so my first kind of I needed more help to do calls to do coaching calls with women and so I reached out and Camilla reached out back to me but she Camilla I mean obviously she knows the work really really well but she hasn't he, she hasn't been a client of the program and then when I was really looking for someone to help me with uh, you know the group moderation and the group coaching calls and all of that um, we had a discussion with you um, and it sounded like a great fit and uh, you had obviously your own success story and mm -hmm. you know the work inside out. You've had amazing success and you're also now training and um, soon to be finishing up your own coaching certification. So it all kind of happened organically and I love that in our team, in our very small team, we actually have two clients who've gone through the process, experienced the results, and then joined our team to work with us. This is the best team that you can create, really, you know. Um, so, yeah, so uh, maybe uh, tell us, Steph, a little bit about yourself and what are your, your journey. And I know I've interviewed you like twice <laughs> already on this podcast. I've interviewed you separately, one-on-one, -on -one, many months ago. Um, and then you also came on to do a roundtable with... Emilia and Melanie uh, to just share your experience of someone who has actually gotten into the program when you were struggling in your the polarity in the relationship and everything. So, yeah, just tell you tell tell us a little bit about your journey with the program and I guess through the last because I think it's been a year now, mm -hmm. almost a year since we started working together as coach client and then a few months now as um, coach coach. I suppose we've graduated <laughs> to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so let's begin with your journey in, in the program and claims and all of that. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Um, well, that's exactly that's exactly it. Um, I started. Um, I I came to the claims program as a client. Signed signed up right away um, because you know, as as you mentioned, um, there was a an issue or a breakdown with polarity in in my long term relationship, and I had read all of your, you know, sort of articles on Medium and had listened to podcasts and, um, and went through the, um, the free webinar, the, the training and um, a discovery call. And I just said, yes, I need to do this. Jumped right in, um, loved it, had just the most life-changing, amazing sort of shifts. I just, I embraced all the work. It was a lot of work. Um, and I can tell you, I was a lot of work, I'm sure. No, you weren't. Come on. Uh, on the phone calls. And so, and you guided me, uh, you know, th through the, through the process, through the program, through the modules. 
and um, I just saw these amazing shifts and and success um, um, in in its way in in my relationship and things like that. But uh, but by the end of the program, you know, the realization was that the the success was bigger than that, uh, and uh, you know, it it was a it had kind of shifted the way I thought about every other part of my life as well. Uh, and, and so, you know, as I started to feel the shifts, uh, mainly sort of in my work, uh, and, you know, in my career and sort of, you know, sort of what I was, what I was feeling there, some misalignment there. Um, and, but, um, I loved the part of the program that I loved so much the the, the total game changer was the embodiment practice. And so I, you know, just embraced it. I, I totally loved it. It totally changed everything. And so I, you know, as I hit the end of the claims program, I said, um, you know, you'd mentioned that you'd, you'd gotten your certification, um, the FECC, which is the feminine embodiment coaching certification from Jenna Ward's school of embodied arts. Uh, and I looked into it and I said, I want to do this. I want to, I want to explore feminine embodiment further but I actually didn't have a plan for what I would do uh, with that certification. So, so I entered, um, you know, signed up, enrolled in the in the FECC um, program um, with School of Embodied Arts, but without a without a clear idea of quite what I was going to do with it. But I was initially just to explore it for myself. Um, so that was, you know, and you didn't answer. tell me anything about it. Well, well, that's okay. You, I wasn't, you didn't I wasn't to, quite, but. yeah, well, I wasn't quite, I think I wasn't quite sure. I think that was sort of it is I was mm -hmm. so excited and I, but I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with it, what it was going to result in. And so, um, yeah, yeah, yeah no, I got really, um, yeah, I kind of had to, honestly, I had to flow with it. I had to flow with the, do the feminine flow on the decision a little bit, um, and decided it was, it was right for me um, at that time. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so before we dive into kind of this is the second part, real mm -hmm. quick, Steph, um, I think everybody listening and watching wants to hear uh, Steph before claimed program and Steph after claimed program. <laughs> Where were you before you joined in terms of your dynamic and how you felt as a woman and mm -hmm. all of that and where were you after um, in terms of your dynamic with your men and maybe even tell us a little bit more about, um, you know, where were you now? Because it's really interesting, Steph, since we started working together, I, from you personally, I hear less and less about your personal life, you know, <laughs> kind of shifted in the background uh, because now we're working together professionally. But I'm curious myself as in, you know, um, and of course we talk about it here and there, but because you're not a client client anymore, I don't see that side of the story. Um, mm. So yeah, tell us the before and after and, and where you are now. Um, absolutely. So as uh, before, before the program, as a woman in general, I was definitely in my masculine energy and working a lot, um, you know, sort of um, on, a, on some, at some points in the year, working sort of up to 70, 80 hours a week. And um, and uh, the polarity in my long-term relationship had kind of broken down. Um, you know, there there had been some early on, um, but I didn't, and I didn't have the words for what was happening or or um, what have you. We just we knew something was wrong, uh, and you know, and our yeah, basically the way we related to each other was you know really poor communication, uh, really emotionally tumultuous. Uh, and so basically went through, you know, a breakup for the most part. Um, uh, although we kind of kept in contact with one another and, and talked regularly and we were in the same town and things like that. Um, but yeah. And so went seeking sort of, you know, realized that this was, you know, a pattern and that I needed help. And so went and enrolled in the claim program. And um, so, that, you know, basically even before the end of the 10 weeks, obviously I was seeing shifts and um, working with polarity and, you know, doing this embodiment, you know, basically restored, um, well, it gave me an understanding and it gave me language for polarity. Um, I stepped into my feminine um, and, and I'm really conscious of that now. I'm really conscious of 
preserving that and cultivating that. And as a result, the polarity of the relationship um, shifted and um, we made the decision to basically get back together and, you know, a few bumps in the road. Um, nothing, nothing is, you know, sort of as straightforward as all of that, but, um, but really, um, yeah, back together. i um, really, um, happy and, and that polarity is really restored and, um, and all of those, you know, sort of issues, um, that, that we kind of had before they, they have air and they have communication now and they're, um, you know, that, and now that I know the mechanics behind sort of what happens when, you know, polarity falls apart or when, you know, someone's struggling with something, um, you know, I, I have the conscious ability to go and sort of fix that. And, and when I say fix that, I mean, attend to whatever it is in myself, uh, that's, you know, that's affecting that there. So, um, yeah, so the change has been, you know, a million years apart. Uh, and, um, you know, I, I go through my day, um, you know, largely much more happy, much more sort of relaxed, much more calm. Um, and with a, you know, a security and a knowing and, a you know, and a real sort of inner compass that, that, um, you know, I didn't really have before, you know, life, and things like that, it tosses us around, you know, breakups and relationships or, you know, sort of work or, you know, all of these or things that come up in life, you know, they, they can toss us around. Um, and emotionally, if, you know, you know, if our emotions are, are up and down, you know, that makes for a really stressful, um, you know, sort of low level stress all the time. And I don't have that anymore. So, you know, I've, I've just reached this level where, you know, things that come along in life, those things in life still come along, of course. Um, but I, I feel like I can flow with them and, and I don't have that stress and that anxiety of not knowing. Yeah. Wow. Steph sounds amazing. Uh, what <laughs> it is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's been, uh, it's been, you know, every woman who joins the program and obviously I've watched you from this side, but now you're watching so many women go, through this experience for, for, you know, joining me on this side. I'm curious, Steph, have you ever discussed with your partner uh, the program and the work that you have been doing? Like, have you been asking you or? Um, yes, uh, in very vague terms, uh, in terms of, yeah, he, he knows what I do uh, and he knows that I'm going through the, the program, the, the coaching certification and, um, you know, and talk about some, he is, he's more open and interested. I think, um, I think if I had tried to get in really deep with it, um, sort of initially, or kind of when I was first discovering these things, or, or even when I first began the coaching certification, you know, I think the language, um, if you just, you know, come with it, to, you know, to someone with it out of nowhere, I, you know, sometimes there's a lot of social baggage around that, or there's, you know, there's a gap in understanding. And now actually, funnily enough, uh, what happens is because I'm kind of in this feminine and because I kind of lean back, he actually asks a bit more. So interestingly enough, so, so I will, I will answer and give him details now as he asks, you know, sort of rather than, just kind of trying to throw all these terms out or throw all these concepts out. Um, you know, he, he, he is interested now. Um, and of course I explain it to the extent that he could, that he can probably yeah. grasp, but yeah, so that's been, uh, that's been a really interesting, um, yeah. you know, dynamic. So yeah. Cause we're fantastic. definitely on discovery calls. And then even as women join the program, those who aren't, cause you know, we work with single women, who want to change their dynamics and the patterns of the men they're attracting, men who are in their feminine or emotionally unavailable. Um, but we also work with women in relationships, and you are mm. one, one of those women who, you know, where the polarity is reversed. And so I would say most of the times when they do this work, the, the polarity shifts in reverse. But, of course, there are some few cases where, you know, the woman um, has the clarity that, you know what, this man doesn't have that capacity and I have the clarity mm -hmm. to move forward um, and choose something different. And we, when women ask, oh, should I tell my partner, you know, and we always say, well, totally up to you, but you don't have to. 
you know it's not necessary like you don't need and this is one of the actually the first lessons i guess in that it's Mm -hmm. like your partner doesn't need to know everything and he's not Mm -hmm. your emotional tampon and (laughs) you know all of those things that we talk about in the program um yeah and so i'm curious steph what really kind of what made you join our team and actually step into step into the coaching role what was your Mm. motivation there yeah, well, it's really interesting. As, as I mentioned before, I enrolled, um, you know, I was so excited about embodiment. Like it just, it, it's become an obsession. It's amazing. Um, and enrolled in the, in the feminine embodiment coaching certification. Again, as I said, without a lot of an, a big idea of what I was going, you know, I did not, I did not have a clear idea um, about what that would result in for me. And, um, and, you know, basically then as, as, you know, sort of the needs or, or, you know, what I was learning matched up with the needs that claimed has, um, you know, as, as you mentioned, um, you know, you're going on maternity leave. Um, but as well, you know, we've, I mean, the success means that we've got lots of beautiful women joining who need that, um, that coaching support, um, as they enter into the program and, and make their way through the program. And so um, I think the needs, I think it is one of those almost sort of the universe said, um, you know, here's opportunity meeting, meeting up beautifully um, together. And, um, you know, I, yeah, this, this program has changed my life. So I was like, yeah, of course, of course, I'm going to be involved. Of course, I'm going to, uh, to, to join um, the team and, and really give um, to the women coming in. Um, what I've received, you know, what like this, yeah, this life changing, uh, this life changing support. Mm. So yeah, it's a, it was it was almost a foregone conclusion. I think it was kind of meant to be. <laughs> yeah, it's really interesting that when I actually did my certification, the same certification you're doing now, I also didn't know what I was going to do with it. You know, I I didn't want to be a coach necessarily, so I kind of jumped into it. And I think this this journey this feminine embodiment coaching certification is, is like this for a lot of women who join, um, you know, cause like it's a feeling thing. Like you just know that this is the right path for you and it, and it feels right. And so mm. you just do it, you trust it. And then at the end, I mean, I started enrolling one-on-one clients uh, by the end of it. Um, you know, so yeah. And, and obviously we started working together before you even finished your um, coaching certification, mm. obviously, but the most important thing for me was that, y- you know, there was a few criteria that, you know, you've seen the success in your own life. And uh, I saw, like, I remember, Steph, you went on a 30-day, 45-minute feminine flow <laughs> practice challenge. Like, I haven't done that. And I was like, <laughs> this woman is amazing. And, like, she knows something, you know, and, and I should I should really watch her because – you know, you really took this work and uh, took it on. And, and I remember like all of your posts were just so rich. And, you know, I know that you, you were mentioning that you were seeing like a chiropractor or somebody going mm. to massage. And, uh, you know, these practitioners started commenting that a lot of the you know, tension in your body has been released and, you know, all of that stuff. And so not only it was transformational, kind of more of an internal emotional level, but also on a physical level. Uh, and I know you're still doing your practice just like I am. Mm. Um, and so, yeah, it's just been so beautiful to, to, to watch you and then to step, uh, for you to step. Well, I mean, you know, you were doing so for, for those, um, for everybody listening. I mean, you know, it's not a secret, obviously, we do have a whole curriculum and a program mm. with modules and worksheets and the whole material. We do have group coaching calls every week and we do have a community. And with you, Steph, it was kind of really organic because you're very present in the group. Like you mm. can see your energy is there and you were already organically a- answering a lot of questions that women are posting there. So you were kind of, you know, the biggest cheerleader and the support um, there even before we started working together. So it was kind of like very organic um so i'm curious steph like what are you and obviously we've been working for a few months now so you're and in the beginning it was kind of what is the role steph can play in this team so worked a little bit on the content we work a little on the coaching but then together we realized that the best place for you to actually is to support the community and to do the group coaching calls and really step into this role that 
you know, I have been doing for, um, for you know, more than a year so that I can go on maternity leave. And I know, I mean, I, I, I know now. It's been quite amazing, like, just to give you feedback. And I know I've been telling you this, but, like, the way you answer questions and the way you're on group coaching calls, I'm like, I had to learn this, you know. I had to, because I went through my journey with this whole program was very, obviously there were a lot of stages and I was figuring it out. I was very much obsessed with client results, but you kind of came in and whether it's a personality thing, I think, you know, because I, I'm an entrepreneur and I have to wear so many different hats. Mm. I don't know whether it's that, you know, cause I have to deal with like clients and group coaching and discovery calls and team and marketing mm. and everything, you know, um, <coughs> I guess it takes a certain personality type and I know when I asked you you said you're very much about being that support person and playing mm -hmm. that role and, and that's what you want to do that's what lights you up you want to see that contribution the change and you said you want to bring the change to the women that you've experienced to all the women out there who are joining the program uh, but you've you've been doing really well like I was really impressed in terms of you didn't need actually a lot of training in that um, sense and it's kind of all came natural obviously I'm giving you all this feedback and you're still kind of in that period but I guess my question here for you Steph is now that you're kind of on the other side um, what has been your personal kind of I guess uh, not transformation but how is it to be on the other side mm. you know because it's a completely different experience um, so yeah how, how is it to be for you to be actually the, the coach and the support person and, and guiding women through this experience and obviously answering their questions and all of that. Like, mm. are, you, are you viewing the work differently? Are you creating a lot more intimacy with it? Or like, how has it, how, is, how the relationship between you and the work, I guess, mm. has, has shifted? Yeah, well, um, that's, it's amazing that you mentioned some of those um, because as you, as you kind of told this, you know, sort of went through that a little bit, I, I, I come up with some things that the other, like, phrases that the other women have said that kind of pop into my mind. And one of the women talked about kind of when she went to kind of enroll in the universe and she was uh, enroll in the claims program and she felt that pull as you were talking about. Um, and, and then the universe kind of, kind of aligns a little bit, which is so like, that is not something I ever would have said before. <laughs> I'm ridiculous, but, but things kind of align. And, and actually I feel like I've gone through as, you know, yeah, as basically stepping onto the team and into the role. I feel like that has happened similarly. So in terms of the material, well, it's just amazing. Like the curriculum, the stuff inside the, um, you know, in, in the program, the, the concepts and the tools and the, and the activities are just, you know, I mean, that's solid. Like there's, it's absolutely, um, you know, just, it's perfect almost, you know, in terms of, in terms of the, I mean, obviously there are all these, you know, sort of things that, that, um, that you can look at, but in terms of the, the foundation is just awesome. And, and that's so great to walk into, um, a role where what you're giving to people or serving up to people is just so rock solid. It's so inarguably successful. Um, you, you can, you know, you can absolutely just say, I know if you, if you do the work that you will have success and it's, you know, and obviously that's been proven and it's so great to, um, to, to bring that to people. And then, how do you, let me just yeah. interrupt you here. Yeah. How do you know that? Like, how do you, Stephanie, know that? Well, first of all, because when you go through the front, you just feel it. You just go, oh my gosh, you, that shift in you and you go that shift that happens that kind of opening up of your your mind about a particular subject you go wow this is permanent this is totally permanent this is a permanent shift or a permanent change um you know in my outlook because of the embodiment it, it that embodiment sort of anchors it down and so then the second thing as i would say is i saw this amazing success myself just amazing like this polarity kind of got restored almost almost kind of by magic. Like I said, there were, there were some bumps in the road, but every time that there was kind of a bump in the road or, or where I felt like I was backsliding, I knew exactly what to do. I knew exactly what was going on. I, I was like, Oh, I know what I know. I've messed up here. I need to go back to what I know to be true. 
and and like magic again kind of comes comes back to um to where it should be things come back to where they should be and and you have a sort of a really big sort of bird's eye view you know your perspective is is so much bigger and and everything is kind of in its place you know you're not so much caught in the thick of it you know you're not you know missing the forest for the trees and and then and then i think the last sort of and the third sort of aspect of that is i go great that's awesome i can feel it i've now seen it for myself and then the third thing is is that there are women in the program who have had amazing success so their success has been commensurate with mine um, in terms of like I was like wow this and you know they they go on and on about it they go they get as obsessed as I am you know it's, it's so funny to to watch that happen you can you can almost see light bulbs turning on you can see when a woman posts I go yep this has changed for her exactly how it changed for me so you know those I'd say that's the, those are the three aspects of how how I know um, so you know obviously yeah. I can speak from my own experience, but then I can now look, I'm very intimate now with the other women going through the program and they are having the same success. So it's great. Yeah. Well, for me, it's, it's been the same, you know, like that's because when you said, you know, it's rock solid and I, you know, um, it's inarguably successful. And if you just do the work, and that's why, you know, I'm on discovery calls with women. And in the beginning, when you start something new, I mean, Steph, I, did, I had no idea what I was creating. I literally, I think you've joined, so Barbara, who's now on Discovery Calls, she was the, uh, the first of the five who've joined, and I remember every single woman by name. Uh, I, I still like, to this day, I know women by names, but the, the group is so big now, I can't hold it in, in, in my brain, you know? Um, but... You know, and so when I enrolled those first five women, I actually was releasing every module every two weeks. Mm. So I was mm. like, I recorded module one, and then two weeks, and then I'm sitting there recording module two, and then I'm releasing it, and then module three, module. So it was kind of like, all right, there was a start date. I think it was March 9th, actually, yeah. And then it, uh, during the next 10 weeks, I just released the program. And you know, when I interview, I've interviewed you and I, and I see these women go through this. I'm like, sometimes I'm like, how did I, how did I do this? You know, and I see you talk about this magic and the concepts and the tools and it's solid, perfect, the foundation, rock solid, inarguably successful. I'm like, who created this program, you know? Um, so it's really interesting to hear that. And in the beginning, obviously, when you do something new, you don't know. I mean... I was, to be honest with you, I, I launched another mini mini program <coughs> based on these concepts, but obviously not as extensive. And those women, you know, were just blown away kind of mm -hmm. by it. And then when I saw the first cohort go through this, I, obviously I worked with women one-on-one. -on -one. So how I created the program is actually now that, you know, looking back, it wasn't like I woke up one day and was like, all right, I'm just going to put this together, you know. It's a lot of work, a lot of years of research. As you say, it kind of follows what you said. Y I felt it, and I went through my own journey of like three, four years of discovering all of this that I've now put together into this container and a blueprint. Obviously, research and interviews and podcasts. My obsession with finding the answer and actually how can I help a woman shift and transform in the shortest amount of time so she can have the results and I worked with clients one on one before I created this program because you know I got all booked out and I wanted to help the most amount of women as possible um so yeah well thank and, and then and then you know when I launched and then I think um I can't remember what it was I think when we got to 50 women or so or you know because now we're like over 200 and growing every day um I really saw th I, I really saw what you're seeing now and I'm like I got such a solid confidence and confirmation through your story and I'm just seeing women go through this and experience all this I'm like yep this is working I don't <laughs> you know there's no question about it when I look at a woman in her eyes on a discovery call I have 150 percent confidence that if she does the work then she's going to experience the results you know and you can't question that anymore because it's been now not only in my body first and thus in your body first, Steph, but we're also seeing this happen every day. If you do the work and you show up and you use the tools and you present 
and you're asking questions and you take advantage of all the tools that we have. And we have some incredible, well, besides the program itself, you know, we support mm. women in such a way where it's like twice a week group coaching calls, you know, the Facebook group. I mean, Steph, you're there every day commenting on every single post. Mm. And the women who show up, they, they experience results. Like, that's just an undeniable truth um, there. So I interrupted you when, when you started sharing, uh, like, mm. how is it on the other side? Is there anything that you wanted to add? So you, th- you said that, you know, the, the you, I guess... By watching women go through this now in this role, you're you're seeing the solidity of the concepts, mm. right? Mm. Anything else you want to mention in terms of what maybe has shifted for you or maybe um, changed or what you've noticed in terms of the work and how you interact with it mm. and yourself maybe? Yeah. Well, interestingly enough, um, you know, I – you know, sort of, I, there's not a lot of common threads in the, the jobs or things that I used to do before. Um, but I do feel like I'm kind of a, I'm a born teacher. I mean, I do, I mean, there's always been kind of a, a teaching and a support kind of, uh, thread and, and, and in my roles, in my kind of teaching roles or in, in previous roles where that was a, an aspect, you know, my goal or my a personal value that I always held was trust, um, and in previous jobs that wasn't always respected. You know, some you know of those jobs asked me to you know sort of push aside the trust that I was building with the people I was working with, and that didn't feel good. And I couldn't, I never was able to put my finger on it. And so I think the most amazing part about stepping into this. Um, this role, this particular role with this team, working with this kind of, um, you know, the, with this material and these and these concepts is that I can bring my whole self and my and my values and and that trust that trust can be the centerpiece, um, you know, and and that is the pathway, you know, when when those things are all present, that's the pathway for these women. Um, all of all of these clients, anyone that comes in to to their success, you know, that's that's the first mm-hmm. stepping stone. And so then when you say you trust, know. like, what do you mean by that? Um, you know, I've, I've always been a proponent of meeting someone where they are at respecting their journey and their life and their viewpoint from where, you know, whatever they've, you know, come wherever they've come from. And that's the most wonderful thing about the variety of women that enroll in this program. They're just, we have a huge range of women from all parts of the world, um, from all sort of backgrounds and who work or, or, or do various things. And, um, and that it's so wonderful to be able to honor that rich experience that they bring. These women are so intelligent. Everyone that, everyone that enrolls are so intelligent and beautiful and thoughtful and insightful and you know so they already bring that you know they already have that beautiful you know essence inside of them and um, yeah no it's just a it's a privilege uh to to be the uh, to be the one that helps them open the door to that shining out in in the world for them yeah i mean i would agree with you you know i I'm, I'm I'm really proud of the community we have created, and I say we because you know you Steph definitely has been a big part of that, as well as all the other women. Um, and when you say, yeah, I mean all the women that join, it's like, oh my God, you're amazing, you know, like, mm. and it's so, it's so interesting. And I know for sure that not every single program director or coach or whatever can say that about their clients, you know. Um, so it's a really interesting dynamic and I think the commu- that's why the community is so and I, and I can't really pinpoint what is that I mean I have like why that happens I think I have a sense like you know at some point very very long time ago that I never like you know because my coaching journey also has been very kind of up and down or whatever I never wanted to be a coach you know, in fact I've seen the other side of the coaching industry that wasn't very pretty you know there's a lot of icky stuff out there and the marketing of it and I'm like oh my god everybody's a life coach today you know Mm. um so 
with that, and it's at one point, you know, when I really dived into, because in the beginning, it was for me, it was all about rediscovering female success. It wasn't about relationships. I saw this problem that women are so strong and, you know, they push, 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 go, 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 but it doesn't feel good to them. So that's where I was for maybe about a year, year and a half when I started the podcast. I was actually interviewing all kinds of women, like business women about their journey, whatever. And then at some point I shifted into relationships and into dating. Uh, and I never wanted to be a dating and relationship coach. I had a, I still don't consider myself that for some reason, you know. Mm. I just, like, I've seen too much. Like, all, <laughs> you know, like that dating and relationship stuff. I'm like, ugh. When I, I still see that on Instagram. I'm like, oh, God, like, don't, you know. It, it just feels so weird to me. Um, and so... What am I saying? I'm saying that, oh, yeah, so at one point, I'm like, I don't want to deal with all these women's problems in dating, really. Like, I thought that women who are going to come are going to be, like, these crazy women, you know, who are, like, <laughs> having all these problems with men, and I'm like, oh, my God, leave me alone, <laughs> you know? So that was the beginning, kind of, when I had these fears and everything. That was actually before my coaching certification with Jenna, um, and... When I look back now, that th so that was totally a lie, you know. Um, there's many different elements that I think go into that, um, into the the level of the community. First of all, the investment, right? Mm. When you pay mm. two hundred dollar or five or five hundred dollars for a program, and I'm not saying that a two hundred dollar program will have these crazy women. Uh, definitely not saying that. But you know, when you're investing yourself at a high level. That requires, first of all, a, a certain type of a woman who makes that decision, and you are that type of a woman. I, I had to get there, actually, you know, mm -hmm. uh, with my money story and everything. But, um, yeah, and just that level of commitment, because when you put, you know, four and a half or five thousand dollars for a program, it's a very, very different experience. It's a, very, it's a different mm -hmm. type of a person, and that's why we've so just the level of investment um, and a lot of women actually for them it's the first time ever in their life that they have and I know you've seen those posts Stephanie it's mm -hmm. like freaking out oh my god mm -hmm. it's a lot of money what is this gonna do for me and as they stay in the program as we guide them through it like all of that fades away because they really experience the results and then they say I can't believe I even questioned um, mm -hmm. you know the investment for it um, so that's number one but I think number two is really you know the the dedication to the work um, and really leading with with like I call it with the heart I guess and with what is the number one. So I've learned a lot of lessons on my journey. And I, this is a beneficial conversation we're having here, Steph, just mm. between the two of us, I guess, mm. as the coaches on the team. But for me, you know, I've learned from. I'm so grateful to have the mentors that I've had in in feminine embodiment, obviously, and and it's I I can't stress this enough now that I've done this for you know for quite some time there's a lot of people out there that teach but actually are not in integrity mm. and cannot transfer you the values and the codes and i think that and i think intuitively you've joined this team because you felt that level of depth and i guess trust because what i've learned for me is the number one thing is focus on client results so mm. that's the number one you know kind of um the motivational factor in business really and that's why mm -hmm. i'm not here for the money mm -hmm. i'm here to i mean obviously we're growing a business and that's all amazing and it's all happening and we're exponentially growing to the point we're like looking at these months numbers and we're like what the hell's happening <laughs> um you know complete shock and disbelief um but i know and this is what i tell women and we actually do give um a program guarantee which is not seen in the coaching industry because I know that if we can help a woman achieve results, then she'll talk about it to her girl girlfriends. She'll refer them. It's good karma anyways. And she'll can be coming to the podcast, sharing her story, and, and so on and so forth. And so that has always been from the beginning my goal. Um, and and my, my focus and my result, cl client results always. Um, that's the number one priority for me. And there's also that thing, you know, I learned a lot from Jenna. Uh, and mm. and I'm so and that's why for me whoever's going to join my team as a coach has to do that certification, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm still coaching <laughs> with Jenna. You know, like, sh like uh, I've just embodied, and I think you're embodying it as 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 you go through it. The 
you know, she really taught me, first of all, like that peer to peer relationship and connection that I think we really mm. beautifully have in our group, mm. uh, where it's like, because, you know, some of them, I spoke to a woman today, so I sent her a message. She's going to enroll tomorrow. And I sent her a quick message because Barbara talked with her on the phone and I said, hey, you know, this is Anna. I know you're thinking about this. Let me know if you have any questions. She's like, is this Anna? Really? <laughs> is this really Anna? And then I got with her on the phone. And I'm like, what is this about? She's like, I don't know. You're like, you know, or like I have this podcast and, you know, but what I'm, I'm not interested in. And this is something actually that I've, I took from Jenna and some other people, my other business mentor. I'm not interested in being a guru or a celebrity. You know, Jenna always leads. What I learned is to lead as a peer. You know, mm -hmm. I am just another woman just like you. And I just might be a few steps ahead of you. And mm -hmm. that's it. Like, there's no this hype and, I don't know, celebrity status and the guru and la la. And so I, I really like that dynamic that we have when we're on a group coaching mm -hmm. call with women or in our group. It's like, I'm here to help you get the result. And mm. like, this is it. Especially, you know, now that I'm going to step into maternity leave, I think, um, I mean, like we're preparing the whole group for it. But I always say, this is not about me. This is not mm. about Anna Rova. This is not about even Stephanie or anybody else. This is about the work. Like, mm. are you ready to do the work? Just do the do the fucking work, and then mm. things will happen. It, Anna Rova is just one person who may mm. have put this all together, but it actually doesn't matter. So, I think that's that's really it, and and the commitment to the work that we have. You know, we drop on mm. our well. String told me not to say this. Drop on your hands and knees because women who haven't done this work might don't not, understand. Might, you know, might like. What do you mean, drop on your hands and knees and be like? Oh, you know, but like, let's just call it feminine embodiment practice. Uh, you know, like <laughs> I still do the practice in my life and I know you mm. still do this and the whole team does it. And so obviously besides my husband, um, <laughs> although he'll get there in time for <laughs> But, you know, it's just that. And like we're mm. showing up every day. We're doing our own practice. We're dealing with our own challenges. Uh, but, but we know now a different way and we fully embody that. So I think, I mean, I don't know if this is relevant to everybody listening, but, you know, a great program and a great experience of transformation is really when the people who are driving it are embodying that mm. value system, mm. you know, and are really living it by example and, and then everything else happens. Mm. And I love that you said it's a privilege because I think, Steph, it really is, you know, because, again, the industry, the coaching industry, the dating, the relationship industry is just full. And, you know, there's some, I mean, obviously there's many great people who do great work, but but it, it, there's not a lot of it. Mm -hmm. And we're very different from a lot of the stuff out there in the market. So it is a privilege, and I consider that too, you know. When I look at a woman and on a coaching call, she completely breaks down, you know, mm -hmm. and like – we get to the heart of what this is about. Yeah. Mm. And then mm. you just sit there, you hold space for her. She's completely in her, the depth of it all, you know, mm. the darkness of it all. <laughs> and you're like, shit, this is big. <laughs> but then you hold the group and the whole group, and then we, we all come out of this experience. We're like, whoa. <laughs> Have you experienced? I mean, obviously you've experienced absolutely. that. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it, it's happened and it, it's so funny because it happens in every, you know, that does, it happens in every um, part of, of this program. As you mentioned, the Facebook group, you know, it might happen on a group coaching call and it, and it might happen on the one-on-one -on -one coaching calls as well. Uh, and it's, that's it. Exactly right. And I love it as well because because I it is still a space for me as well that when I'm facing challenges or or need to be vulnerable or, or say you know I'm I'm not perfect I'm going through I'm having a bad day or I'm having doubts about you know whatever that I can share that there and that is you know that structure is there for me as well um and so that's that's wonderful um and to to share our vulnerabilities you know I mean that's it's just this beautiful connection that's created because as you said, you know, you know, we're, we're open books um, when we're, when we're in here interacting with each other. And um, you know, I use my story all the time and it's, and it's all, you know, my experience all the time. I'm like, 
God, remember the time that I was just so crazy. Like I was so, you know, like, you know, so emotional, so doing the wrong thing, so pushing. So, you know, I was like, you know, I said, here's, here's an experience where I had to swallow a bitter p- pill and um, get over my ego and, you know, um, that, I, you know, that I made mistakes and, and here's, a, you know, and I, and I am feeling bad or I am feeling a challenge or I am feeling a little bit doubtful. Um, and so this is this amazing experience that you're exactly right, that, that we're walking alongside each other in this journey, you know, in this, in this journey that you go through when you enroll in this program, you know, you know, yeah, as you said, um, we're not out ahead of anyone. We're not up above anyone, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here walking alongside you on my own journey. So let's, let's walk together. Uh, that's, that's, you know, that's the most beautiful part of this and then it's the yeah. honor that I get so yeah that I... yeah beautiful and Steph can you describe like <clears throat> a typical experience that that you see of a woman because you've now been you know working mm. as a in the Facebook group you're every day and you know obviously group coaching calls you're going to take on more of that uh, of that role um, as we go forward like how does a typical experience look like um, from the moment a woman joins to, to the moment that, and you know, the work is never complete or done, but I guess there's that milestone. So mm. what happens there from, you know, just a typical experience that a woman, how would you describe that? So that mm. I guess listeners who are considering or thinking or, you know, you know, because there's so many questions can really feel through that and kind mm. of see the journey. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. So um many of the women who enroll they're coming um either you know from a place of i i recognize my patterns and i'm exhausted and i'm burnt out and i'm um i'm so over the type of men that i was seeing or you know i just got i get to I've just come out of a divorce or, you know, I'm burnt out on dating and the, the men that I've been seeing have been sort of, you know, not great, irresponsible, passive, feminine. Um, and so they do, you know, I mean, when you come into this uh, program for the first time, uh, you know, a lot of us are just, you know, yeah, you're kind of broken or at least, you know, hollowed out a little bit, burnt out. And, um, the first thing that happens is um, you go through module one and, you know, there's a little bit of sort of starting to understand polarity and a little bit, and you might start your practice. You might be kind of sensitizing, but, but everyone asks, what is this about? What is it? Like, what? Like, there's a lot of doubt. There's a lot of like, what is this for? Is this crazy? Do I, I don't, this? I don't feel it. That's right. Why? I don't, I don't feel, feel anything. anything. Like, this is crazy. And then what happens? And so, so, you know, a lot of women express that. And then all of a sudden, just a couple of, you know, weeks, sometimes even days in, they go, I am seeing shifts outside out there actually they're going i didn't even do it i haven't even done anything yet and i am already starting to see things see you know that that men are relating to me differently i'm uh you know i'm already starting I, a guy came up and he offered and that never happened you know to carry my groceries and that never happens and so that's generally what happens is there's a shift almost right away like it only takes it only takes having gone to the first module which is just a week or two and then, and then that's usually, you know, all of a sudden you go, okay, there's something here. Even though I don't know quite what it is, there's something here. And that's at the point where I really, um, you know, sort of women really jump into the, uh, you know, the work, the work and the embodiment and establishing the embodiment practice. And then as they do that, you know, and again, I, I've seen that women experience potentially, some women have experienced shifts in other areas before they attract their committed masculine man. Um, so they, you know, a lot of times we understand the concept, but um, a lot of women do post, they say, actually, I'm, I'm having this question about work. You know, I'm starting to feel sort of shifts at work, or a few of them are saying, uh, have said, um, I actually see a shift with in a personal relationship, like a relationship with a family member um, or something like that. So you will potentially see shifts. And then, um, and I think, you know, and then as you get further into the program, 
we've mentioned this, the first part of the program is not, you know, the dating tips and tricks come, come in the second half of the program. And by the time that women have got there, they've started to wrap their heads around why the, the structure of that module works, why, why the, dating, the dating advice works. Because you can't, it doesn't work if you haven't done some of the internal work before that. And so when module four happens, that's, that's when women really, it all comes, then it all comes at once, all of these you know, I'm dating so much. I can't keep track of the amount of uh, dates I'm getting every week. I am here. Here's what these amazing men have done for me this week. And, um, you know, and, you know, like he's booked a trip for us, um, you know, and I've only been, you know, uh, you know, this is amazing. This has never happened to me before. So that's, and then, but you know, that, that, that comes as a result of these amazing shifts that are happening inside, which, which is what happens about halfway through maybe the program. Although, um, every, every woman goes on her own timeline, of course. And, uh, but it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And women, you know, uniformly describe it as sort of like leveling up, leveling up. They go, wow, I feel like things have completely opened up. I feel like I'm on a new level. I I feel like I have a new level of knowledge. So, um, that's, you know, they have this, you know, and these shifts happen in a really short amount of time, usually, you know, um, in just a few weeks. Definitely, definitely they happen before the end of the program. So within 10 weeks, you're, you know, everyone in the program who's embraced the work and who's moved through, um, you know, the, the tools of the program, you, you will see shifts almost, almost immediately small shifts to start with big shifts follow very quickly almost like an avalanche yeah and I just wanted to comment and there are some women who maybe I don't know maybe had the experience with other dating problems as soon as they join the first post is like all right so I went on this date and here's the screenshot and what do I do you know what are the what what are the rules what are the rules (laughs) here and then we're like all right, here we go, here we go. Mm. And I mean, we don't tell women to stop dating as they're going through this journey, but we kind of have to redirect them and say, look, you've just joined and this is going to require a shift and this is going to take a little bit of time. So, you know, let's focus on module one. First, here's what you can do and we recommend doing, but this is not about that because, you know, you've just entered and so things need to sh- shift first within you if you want to see a different results in your dating life. And that's why when I've been designing this program, you know, all about men and the dating funnel and everything is like, as you said, towards the end of the program because all of that actually will happen pretty much by default automatically um, if a woman d- does the work uh, <clears throat> and goes through these the, the first three modules, so to say. And Steph, I, and, and that's what you said. I love what you said. Everyone sees, shift, sees shifts if they embrace the work. And I get this question um, on discovery calls that I would love for you to answer. Um, how would you answer the question, what is the success rate of, cl- of mm. clients in the program? That's it's an interesting one, and I, this is a question that you know, of course, of course, we uh, we we ask where you go, you know, does you know, we say to people, you know, this will help you shift patterns to attract a committed masculine man, and and I know that that is the draw for a lot of a lot of women who are burnt out, for example, on dating or relationships, and um, you know, and. and we can start with that, but you know the women who have come, gone through the program, they just, you know they go, wow, success. I mean, on podcasts, on those interviews, you sometimes can't stop them from going, oh my god, look at all these amazing. You know, it's like I want to talk about everything that's happened. Mm-hmm. Um, so success is so interesting. Um, once you're in the program, what, what the definition of success will probably shift for you because it's so huge. It's so big that the definition of success expands from simply dating and relating with success, um, to, with men with, and with success, but it, it becomes more than that. It, it, um, it really encompasses success and women 
it's so great because they come back and they go, I've had success. And if you ask those clients, what does what does success mean? And they go, Well, I, you know, I c- attracted my committed masculine man, or I or I absolutely am in the process of changing the the polarity dynamics. And they go, but that's not important. That's not as important as, oh my gosh, I, you know, I have this outlook on life that's just expansive and joyful and light and and um, it's changed everything. So that's it's a uh, it's a tough, um, it's a tough definition to um, sort of put to women who are outside the program because it's it's almost bigger than you can describe to someone who, who hasn't enrolled yet. Yeah, well, I like that you started with you know the promise of the program in the ten weeks is really um, when we are on discovery calls is that you're gonna by the end of this journey you're gonna start to attract different types of men. Mm. Men who are committed and men who are masculine, right? Mm. N- you, we're not saying you're going to meet your committed masculine man. Mm. You're going to be in a relationship or you're going to get engaged or get married, which, which is I know a lot of, you know, a lot of dating stuff and relationship stuff is really focused on that. And mm. I always, always emphasize that it's not about that. Mm. For me, the goal is not actually to get you into a relationship and not to you know, like help you get married or get engaged. Because guess what? We have a lot of clients who've done that. I mean, getting mm-hmm. into a relationship or getting engaged in marriage, that's, e- that's the easy It's not part, hard. You know? <laughs> it's not hard for women who, you know, like know how to play the game a little bit or whatever. But it's the, it's the quality of that relationship. It's the quality of that dynamic. Um, and, you know, we have women in the program who've attracted what they want and who have, been claimed and in a relationship and that relationship for one reason or another it didn't work after some time because of many different factors that we can't influence but for me Steph the success and I, I always ask answer this question in a way the the success rate is a hundred percent if you engage with the work and if you Absolutely. do the work and of course I loved your answer because what is success we can talk about this on so many different levels mm. of course there has to be a point where it's like well what is the result am I expecting and the result you you will see is that you will start to attract different types of men mm. now whether you can end up in a relationship with them that's one thing you know or another but no matter what happens we will be there with you and we'll guide you along the way and for me, the success is when a woman experiences something that's not very pleasant. Like, you know, we've had a few um, situations in the program and I'm completely open about it because I know mm. why we're here for. Like, you know, she's attracted the man, she's embraced the work, beautiful, um, you know, and then for some reason or another, it didn't work, right? And mm. they had to go split ways. But that woman, her post about this was not was s- coming from such a powerful place of embodiment and integrity saying this is what I want and it wasn't happening and I had to communicate my boundaries and I remember mm-hmm. one client in particular said this phrase I love myself more than suffering for a man mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. and to me when she said that I'm like oh this was like orgasm through my whole body because, you know, I always say it's not about the man. Like, you know, yes, we have a, our amazing men around us, but who knows, Steph, you know? Mm. Like, I think I intuitively do not post a lot of, of photos or things with mm. string and, you know, like I do not focus on that because I don't know what, what happens tomorrow. Mm. I mean, he could be hit by a bus or mm. w- if this might not end, end up being, you know, the end all be all my relationship you know and if that happens then I don't want to be put in a position to feel like I have to continue the narrative and the story I've actually watched a bunch of relationship coaches burn down because their relationship was the foundation of everything Mm. like my man and my man and this is and I'm like men or no man this is about you and how you Mm -hmm. feel right Mm -hmm. Uh, because that's all you can have so yeah, uh, mm. so that's why we focus on that. We focus on helping women feel good. Ha- well, not necessarily good, I guess, but Im- embodied, right? Bad or mm. good, embody and welcome everything. Embody your mm. feminine, um, learn how to let go and surrender and know and, and giving you the tools for lifetime that you know if anything happens, a breakup or whatever, you know where to go, you know what to do, mm. like you said, right? And, and, mm. and, and, and you're doing the work, so... 
All right. Well, I think, Steph, this is it. Um, anything else that you want to add, I guess? <laughs> um, no, uh, just just that um, you should, you know, if this if this speaks to you, if you're feeling a pull toward this, um, you know, we're waiting for you. We're we're if you feel out of touch with yourself and you want to know the way to get back in touch with yourself, as you, as you mentioned, sort of. Um, to, to the core of who you are and the truth of who you are and to, to have that, you know, to be secure in that knowledge and, you know, come and join us. We're waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm so excited. Steph's waiting. I'm, I'm so waiting too. To I am expecting, you. not only I'm expecting a baby, but I'm expecting <laughs> uh, clients and women to join us. I'm, I'm just so grateful, Steph, for you that you're so excited about this and you're like, we're waiting uh, because yeah, Steph is waiting and she's there. And as soon as, you join, um, she's going to be there in the group, she's going to be there on the calls, and uh, yeah, we're, we're all dedicated to your success and, uh, you know, to the future where women are embodied, women are, you know, in their full natural essence, um, and where men are happy too, because mm. with all of that, mm. men are really happy. <laughs> 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 and that's the future of relationships, and that's actually the vision um, mm. of claimed. And I know we talked about vision and you know it's all about helping women embody themselves embody their femininity and you know create a world where men and women build this world together um, mm. in their essences feeling fulfilled creating families on that foundation as well so all right we're going to end up here for everybody listening i invite you to obviously if you haven't watched our signature webinar that steph has watched a long time it's still the same webinar steph that women are watching and <laughs> you know um telling me have you bugged my apartment because this is <laughs> so that's at girlskill.com slash webinar but if you have watched the webinar and you've been following us for a while and this conversation really motivates you to take the next step to explore this uh, apply for your discovery call which is free um, and that's at girlskill.com slash apply. And then you'll be able to schedule your free uh, discovery call, see whether this is for you. And if it is, then we'll be waiting for you on the other side. All right. Thanks so much, Steph. I really enjoyed it. We should have this like uh, maybe once every two months or once every month and just chat and see what's happening with the group, the clients and all of that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. It's, uh, it's been brilliant. So love it. Yay, thank you.